welcome guys this is three years oh my goodness it's so unbelievable so it's been three years since i uploaded my first video my very first video on youtube so i've been three years on this street uh so far so good <laughs> it's been slow and steady i'm enjoying the journey and um oh well we could do better but we're here for it right so um on this day three years ago uh this is very memorable for me because i don't know how to put it so today is also the death anniversary of kobe bryant he's like one of the greatest basketballers that ever lived it was a tragic incident and unfortunately it's, just, it's the same day i uploaded my first video and well i'm just here to say thank you to all of you who have been here with me through this journey and uh those of you who continually watch my videos who drop comments i can't begin to mention names but to my whatsapp fam you guys are the real mvps because every time that i share my link on whatsapp i see the progression of my views on youtube so it's safe to say that my most consistent audience are the people on my whatsapp so thank you guys very much and for that reason i will be dropping a giveaway on this video so watch out for it and make sure you are the fastest finger i wish i could reward every one of you who has been with me on this journey but unfortunately the moolah hasn't started coming in as it should so i cannot reward everybody but thank you so much i'm so grateful because without you viewing my um my videos there'll be no point like i'll just be posting it for nothing but then i have you the viewers thank you so much and for those of you who haven't subscribed but you keep coming back to watch thank you still because the views actually count as well but maybe you should subscribe and maybe turn on the post notification so you don't get left out every time i upload um a new video so the thing is my channel actually encompasses very many different things but predominantly i like to travel and i said at the intro video uh, when I started my channel that my channel was going to um, chronicle my travel documentary my uh, life as an actor that hasn't <laughs> quite progressed in the last three years so I did make a short film and um, I'm looking I'm working on making a sequel to it um, fingers crossed fingers crossed I hope that I get the strength to do it so pray for me guys i'll make sure that i bring that short film this year and maybe two if god is willing uh or if god wills my goodness english is so difficult so on this um third anniversary of mine i just have a few words to tell you guys who are nigerians and in nigeria at the minute this is the last week for collection of the permanent voters card i cannot stress this enough we we all deserve a better nigeria i mean in our own quote so funny the tire you man please go and collect your pvcs and you already know who you're supposed to vote for you're definitely supposed to vote for the person who is the most sound who sounds like they have the best interest of nigeria and nigerians at heart so please collect your voters card i understand that it's a very strenuous exercise or it's like a very heckling task all of the processes that you need to go through for you to be able to collect your pvcs but please do collect your pvcs and of course you should vote for peter b if you're watching this video right now and for any reason whatsoever you do not think that peter will be deserved to go deserves to be our president deserves to preside over nigeria des deserves to preside over the very intelligent brains that are nigerians honestly I don't know if I can convince you because I'm very sure that there are people in your physical life who have tried to convince you otherwise. But please, vote Peter B. Give Nigeria a chance. Let us be able to travel. I mean, one of the reasons why I actually started this channel in the first place was because every time that I traveled to a different part, I, I grew up in Calabar, so I'm from Crush River. I grew up in Calabar. And in Crush River alone, there's a lot of um, diversity so the, the people in the south which we uh, most of the nigerians know as the ethnic people as the Kalaba people it will surprise you to know that there are different tribes 
within Kaaba, as in Kaaba itself, Kaaba municipal and Kaaba south, there are different tribes in there. So you have the cause and you have the ethics and you have, that's what I can remember at the top of my fingers right now. So imagine that within Kaaba, there are different ethnic groups. So you can imagine how diverse Cross River alone is. Before you go up north to the side of Cross River that I'm from, which is Bekwara, there's like Bekwara, there's Obudu, there's Obaniku, there's Ogoja, there's Yala, there's many different things. I feel like the most beautiful thing about Nigeria is our diversity. And that is also part of our problems. So I started this channel because I realized that there's so much to learn. There's so much beauty to explore in Nigeria. And I wanted people to see it the way I was seeing it. I mean, I have videos of touristic destinations within Cross River State. And then I tried to travel to other states. But then I remember when I was traveling to Taraba. So I have videos about Taraba as well. When I was traveling to Taraba, I never could have imagined any of the things that I saw there. Like it's something you need to experience no matter how much someone talks about it or no matter how much, how many videos. Well, maybe if you watch a lot of videos, you get an idea of what the place is like. But then you'll be completely blown away. There's like, my goodness, Taraba is so beautiful. If you've ever been to Obudu, or if you've seen any videos from Obudu, I have a couple on my channel. If you've seen any videos from Obudu and you understand the topography and the geography of the land in Obudu, Taraba, or actually Gembu, is like a more, like a wider space a bigger obudu that's what it is the climate is beautiful it's amazing i literally was driving through snow not snow through fog like it was so beautiful i'm like why did i all of my years on earth all of my years living in nigeria i never knew about this place and the journey was such a spontaneous one that my friend just my friend mm she just told me that oh there was this trip going on um some guy was organizing a trip to Taraba so people are coming from Lagos some of us I was at I was in Abuja at, at the time and then I said okay I probably should go and that was it that was how I left I didn't tell my people you know I couldn't even tell my mom that I was traveling up north because of the insecurities like it's it's unthinkable that someone will actually wake up and decide to travel to the north it's so unsafe but then it's so beautiful. Do you know that we have sand dunes in Nigeria? Guys, my point is this. I couldn't explore all of the 30, all of the 36 states in Nigeria because of the insecurity. Imagine that I'm traveling just from maybe from Benin City or from Edo to Lagos. My heart is already in my in my in my palms because like I'm wondering, oh my goodness, am I going to get home safe? <laughs> Is, is is my car going to tumble over? Am I going to get in an accident? Am I going to get kidnapped? There's just so many things, guys. Please, please, guys. Let us collect our PVCs. Let us go to do your part. Like, do your part because there's just so much you can do. We can pray all we want to pray. We can pray as much as we want to pray. We can fast 21, 31, whatever number of days it is we want to fast. But the, the things that we need to do, the physical things that are actually in our power, we need to actually do them. We need to do them so we would be able to progress. You need... <sighs> this issue cannot be overemphasized. I want to come home. I want to live at home. I want to actually be at rest. I want everything to work. I want young people to be able to find things to do to get them going. I want people to be able to live comfortable lives. We're not asking for, we're not asking for every Nigerian to be wealthy. We're asking that we're able to live comfortable lives. That's what it is. So, guys, please do your part. Just vote. That's all that we're asking. If you think that your votes do not count, if you actually think that your votes do not count, think about it this way. If they do not count, how is it that the people who are in power, who supposedly have the power of incumbency, if that's how it's called, still waste their time going into the deep, remote villages, where if it is not election periods those villages do not have lights those villages do not have roads those villages do not have any form of civilization but when it comes to the election election period they find time to go into those deep villages and canvas for these votes why why do you think that they are paying people in sachets of rice or gari or whatever for them to give them their votes because it actually does matter 
if you have registered in a pooling unit and you have you you have not gone to collect your pvcs or you have not gone to or you you are not going to vote you have your pvc but you're deciding that you're not going to vote you're giving chance for them to rig the election because then a specific number of um what's it called i don't know what it's called a specific number of um the thing that you vote with is sent to a particular polling unit so when you are not there someone else can thumbprint on your behalf when you are not there i mean just go and vote that's all that i can say concerning this okay this video was not supposed to be about voting or not or it wasn't i, I wasn't supposed to lay this much emphasis but i mean I was just talking as the spirit led because then if Nigeria was safe, I could have been able to go to Gombe, I would have been able to go to Borno, I would have been able to go to Zamfara, all of these places. I could have gone to Sokoto, I would have gone everywhere with peace of mind because I knew because I would know that no matter how far I travel, I will always be safe. I'll always have to I will always be able to get home safe. You know, you know all of the mishap that has happened with our rail system. <sighs> Guys, imagine that. A plane ticket, a return ticket is 200k. How? Like I'm, tra I'm trying to travel from Calabar to Lagos. So I'm trying to travel from Abuja to Lagos. And one way is 100,000. Does that make any sense? How much do we make in a month? How much do people who actually go to work, people who have 9 to 5, people who are working in the civil service or doing businesses, how much do they make in a week or in a month for them to be able to afford to fly 100,000 one way? Does that make any sense? So it's either you're paying a hundred thousand to fly, um, to fly to your destination, or you're risking your life, and also risking paying millions that you probably do not have, or that your family does not have, or your family is going to go bankrupt trying to raise this money for your ransom. Just think about it. Like everything is just set up to everything is a disaster at the minute. We need to vote. We need to vote the right people in. And trust that they do the job. Please. <sighs> Thank you for watching. I'm supposed. I was supposed. To, that was. This was supposed to just be an introduction into the proper video that I wanted to make. So I wanted to make a video about how much I spent traveling in the EU. But then I'm going to have to end this video, upload it as a separate video, and then I would make another video concerning how much it is that i spent and i'm probably going to put the um the giveaway in that video so please watch i'm so sorry for <laughs> talking all over the place but yeah thank you guys for watching thank you for indulging me i feel like if i don't say anything concerning the election on my channel i have sort of failed so please hear my word pick up your pvcs and vote when the time comes okay and vote rightly vote the right person that you know you know in your heart of hearts that will take nigeria to the next level that will help us to actualize our dreams that will help us to actualize our full potential that will help nigeria to be great again thank you